Hey guys, uh, this is my long-awaited Pokemon Showdown tutorial. This is how to put up and make your own server and what's unique about this tutorial is that this is a hosted tutorial. In other words, you don't have to be running this server on your computer. You're actually going to set it up on a remote computer and you're going to leave it running. Therefore, you don't have to leave your computer on for others to access your server. So uh, I know this is, uh, I believe, the first one of its kind on YouTube. I know they have uh, personal servers, but no uh, hosted servers. So uh, uh, by the way, this is free. And before you start off, I would like you to check out the VPS tutorial I made. It's going to show you how to set up your VPS and all that. You're going to need to set up your own VPS before you do that. And I know there's going to be a little annotation up right now showing you how how to do it it's gonna be a little annotation just ain't click here for VPS tutorial so whenever you set it up you're gonna to want to set up a, a for easiest access of Windows 2008 R2 and you're gonna go in your server and this is so others can access it whenever I made mine I forgot to do this and I was wondering for the longest reason why I couldn't uh, access it but you're gonna to go to security groups view rules See how it says, uh, not all these uh, ports are open. What you're going to do is you're going to want to open up all ports so others can access your server. Because when, whenever you start your server, you're going to open up port 8000, and port 8000 is closed by default. So you're going to go edit inbound rules, type, you're going to do the RDP all traffic anywheres save and this will open up all the ports so you can go back to your dashboard uh, instances go back to here and this is it right here launch instance oop my bad on window um, it's gonna be cut out um, you're going to come over here and you're going to right click this connect download remote and by the tutorial is going to tell you how to get the password so you know, connect okay sorry about that I have to cut it out because this is my first time logging on to it I made a fresh one just so I can show you guys how it's done step by step and I have to uh, go over something that I'm going to cover in that VPS tutorial if you watch if you watched it already you probably know what it is so now you're gonna go to Internet Explorer. Okay, it took a while to load, so I just cut that out. So uh, you're going to just type in Node.js and just click search. Node.js. Click install, run, okay I'm just going to go through the install, it's just clicking through, except there shouldn't be any uh, add-ons or you downloaded the wrong program, keep going. Okay uh, that took about one to two minutes to install, I just cut that out for uh, time purposes. So click finish, now you're going to do um, Search Pokemon Showdown, GitHub, Zorel. And this should bring you to the server. Uh, this one right here. And this is every file that you'll need to get your server up and running. Click download zip. Uh, open. Now you're going to take this folder, you're going to copy it, and you're just going to, for quick access, just paste it onto your root directory, which is your C drive. Now, 
just rename it showdown just gonna make it a lot quicker so you don't have to find the actual directory whenever you're starting the process so showdown and they're gonna want you to open up a CSV file I believe there we go so you're gonna go into your showdown folder that you're going to go into config and you're going to want to open up and create a new text document uh, just open it and they're going to tell you just user this so I'm just going to enter my username and that little key right there that little squiggly line that's going to call you at an administrator if you want it to be a moderator, you would set somebody as that. Um, there's also, I believe, the dollar sign is also something. Um, just check check the um, check this page. This page will tell you everything that you need to know to uh, manage it. So I'm just gonna leave me as an administrator to be most high up. I'm gonna click save as. Make sure you're going to save it in that same folder, that showdown server. All files, use a group.csv. Save. Set that up, you're going to go to command prompt, make sure open. Now you're going to now you're going to go to CD space C drive showdown and I just made it that easy because that's why I would put it on a C drive. Now all you're going to do is uh, node app dot js. Oh, I forgot. There's one more thing that you have to do. Um, you're going to do this npm install. You need to do that. So just uh, paste it. Okay, and after you do that, now you can run the uh, app.js. Now you can run it. And that should be it now. What you're going to do is you're going to take your public IP, which is this 54.148.182.15 and just to test this out I'm going to go into go onto my actual computer not my remote computer so 54 you're just going to copy it to down 182.15 colon 8000 oh I'm sorry when you're doing this in Internet Explorer and in Chrome make sure you do HTTP in front of it now you can do your 54 and uh, 148.182.15.8000 and okay I'm back sorry about what just happened um as you can see I did get it up and running what I did wrong is you cannot access your server from uh, Internet Explorer I tried that and it said cannot con connect the server so what I did is I downloaded Google Chrome and you just download it like you normally would on any other PC. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to lo localhost.pcm.us. So testing it on your own, from, testing it from the server computer, you type this in. And as you can see, I got into it. I am an administrator. Now to do the an another fix that was the problem. You're going to go back to server manager. You're going to go to firewall and you're just going to turn Windows firewall off for domain, private and public. Also, you're going to go to inbound rules and see how up I added an inbound rule. You're going to new rule port Specific port 8000, unless you opened a different port for some reason. 8000, 
allow the connection, domain next, and just name it, and click finish. Now that I have that up, now I can try it on my own computer. As you can see, I got that running. I'm going to refresh it again just to see. And I'm signed in. I'm an administrator. So what you're going to do from here, this is so you can just leave it on 24-7 and anyone will be able to access your server. So going to clear out all the all other windows and you're just going to leave this uh, command prompt open and from there all you're going to do is exit and now I'm back to my own computer and there you can see my showdown server is complete now see how it has 54.148.182.115.pcm.us so in order to give that your own name like mine's mathlead.pcm.us however I'm a little bit under a spam attack I had some inappropriate words on my server because someone went on and spammed it while I wasn't on and I couldn't clear his messages so you're going to go to smog and forms and all you're going to do is create an account sign up and after a week seven days after your account is made you're going to go Pokemon Showdown New Server Registration. And uh, it should be around here. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the uh, description. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that. So you're going to. When you're done, you're going to go to the server application, uh, start the application, and they're going to ask for your IP. They're going to ask for what name you want to give it, and they're going to ask uh, for your Pokemon Showdown name and your Smogon name. That's just to keep it. Not bad, uh, that's just to uh, have your name on file, just in case they need to message you in any way. As you can see, as you go down, very, there we go, Mathly. As you can see, I'm like all the way at the bottom, but I am the newest confirmed server right now. So, all you're going to do is, once you get that uh, running, and whenever you message them, they're going to ask if you have had 72 hours of continuous uptime. Make sure you do that. Make sure you have confirmed that, confirm it with them, and within, I believe, three days I had mine, they're going to add your server to the list. So, uh, there we go. Uh, make sure, by the way, you keep your server uh, well maintained. That's the best way that you can uh, prevent any spam from going on, like what unfortunately happened to mine. Um, also, in your server, you can do. Um, all that's confirmed that's all in the uh the github tutorial but uh so uh that's it uh, show your friends share it favorite subscribe thumbs up the real surprise for everybody making a uh, first its kind uh how to make your hosted server tutorial uh hope you liked it uh, just any questions just like uh my vps just ask me I'll be sure to give you a reply. One thing that happened with VPS is people were like, oh no, here, this is my request to you. Make a server for me, yada, yada, yada. I don't want to do that anymore. This is a tutorial, not a giveaway. This is probably the third time I said it. I just want to get it through. If you can't do it on your own, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to learn to understand the tutorial more. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, etc comment if you have questions and I'll be glad to answer them as long as it has nothing to do with making us making your own server and that's that's it with it I hope you enjoy your uh, server have fun play Pokemon yeah